All right, let's turn to movies. He watches the bad ones so that you don't have to. <laughs> Welcome our Friday friend and film critic, Mr. Richard Roper. What's up, Rich? We have a whole salad bar of movies, everything you could possibly yes. want in one serving. Yeah, and we're going to start with Haunted Mansion because it is based on the popular Disney theme park attraction. And this movie is the second action, live action adaptation. If you remember, the first one came out back in 2003 and starred right. Eddie Murphy. So here's a clip from the new Haunted Mansion. Take a look. His eyes were doing that, and no eyelids. So they're into his skull, no eyelids. What about his nose? No nose. You know, you know. No nose! Why would, he, why would he have a nose? Oh, he was smiling. The man who mugged you was smiling. But he didn't have lips. So it was kind of like a sure. perpetual smile of sorts. It's kind of like, yeah, like that. This kind of thing. Exactly, yeah. Okay. No lips, why not? Why would he have those? Is this the man who mugged you? Wow! Oh. <laughs> You just did that just now? This is amazing. You know what would be fun? See him with skin. I uh, love Danny DeVito, American <laughs> Treasure. Do yes. we love the movie? It's a spend. You know, when we talk about Disney theme parks that have been turned into movies, there's Pirates of the Caribbean way up here and then okay. the Country Bears movie, which mm. didn't quite work out. But the second time actually works better, guys. The first one, as Sam mentioned, it was an Eddie Murphy vehicle, so it just became an Eddie Murphy family comedy. This, I think, is a little bit more in keeping with the theme right, and you got Danny DeVito, Jamie Lee Curtis, Owen Wilson, Tiffany Haddish, who we mentioned, uh, who all play it big and comedic, and then and what I really love about this is Lakeith Stanfield plays it like he's in a serious drama mm. the whole way because that's the kind of actor he is. So you get those contrasting styles and then the special effects. It's it's very entertaining, not too scary for the little one. So I think it'll it'll hit a wide audience. I was gonna say, is it better than the Eddie Murphy? It film? is better. Wow. It's a little it's a little more in keeping what the haunted mansion is all about, which has been a theme right for now, like three generations. Mm. So there are a lot of people that are very serious about their haunted mansion. Yeah, it looks yeah. identical to the ride. In it really does. And a lot of characters and callbacks and Easter eggs in there if you're a huge fan of the ride. But if you've never been on the ride, you can kind of figure out the plot. It's a mansion and it's haunted. <laughs> um, Simple enough. Yeah. Man, boom, it's quick. <laughs> Good title. <laughs> right, next up, Zach Galifianakis and Elizabeth Banks star in the Apple TV movie about the Beanie Baby phenomenon. And did you know it actually started here in the Chicagoland area? Take a look at Beanie Bubble. This has always been my company. Company we created together. Why do you have to be so dramatic? I mean... My salary's been reduced 75%. Yeah, I'm just doing what's necessary. You know, running the real, actual business over here. Everything good that's happened to me is because of you guys. We are bonded forever. Have you considered poisoning him? Countless times, son. All right, so we had Barbie, and now we got Beanie Babies. <laughs> it's the year of the corporate biopic. We had Air, we had Flamin' Hot about Cheetos, we had the Blackberry movie. This is a spend. It's a very fictionalized telling of the tale, but kind of essentially true, as you guys mentioned. Ty Warner's from here. They started off just selling in little shops like in Glenview and suburbs like that, and then it became, it was like the NFT of the 90s. Mm. Beanie Babies, Babies became like worth tons of money. So it's kind of the classic rise and fall because then they kind of overstepped their boundaries mm. and tried to, you know, saturate the market. But it's very entertaining. Yeah, I've certainly had many Beanie Babies in my, in my <laughs> life. see if you got a couple still around. Right, right? because they're worth a lot like of money Like on eBay. Now. People I'm looking for the call, platypus or something. Right, you know? I'm going to call my mom and see if she can <laughs> yeah. go to get to digging for some extra cash. <laughs> right, we also have Twisted Metal. It's a new Peacock series starring Anthony Mackie. The film is based on the classic PlayStation video game. So, Rich, tell us about this one. Is yeah, it a Sam? I'll tell you. This is uh, this is a spend, but I got to tell you, people who know this video game, this is ultra hyper violent, and they they're very faithful to that game. I mean, we're talking about Mad Max level dystopian violence. So if you're into that, you know what you're getting into, it's very faithful to that. Great special effects. And I love Anthony Mackie. He's yeah, great. super talented and very versatile. All right, yes. last but not least, Talk To Me is an indie horror film about a group of friends who discover how to conjure spirits and they become addicted to the new thrill. Rich, is this a spend or a save? Yeah, it's a spend. I gotta say, this is that, you know, that little indie horror film that's gonna do very well at the box office because this is what young people love. They love that nasty, great grotesque, scare me out of my wit stuff, mm. and it does it very well. All right, we got four spins, but uh, Barbie and Oppenheimer, is there ever going to be a bigger weekend this year? No. 
Not, probably not for the next five years. That wow. was like a, a generational phenomenon. And people are still flocking to the theaters. To and see and you know, I, w I was just in LA and they did like a 7 a.m. matinee for the first time ever, I want to say, with Barbie and Oppenheimer. So it's a big weekend. A I love weekend. seeing people go back to the actual movies. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. 7 a.m.? Only, yeah. only Sam Chapman's up at, at 7 a.m. At the Chinese, <laughs> I wasn't there. But they were telling, I, I did a little Hollywood tour and at yeah. the, at, they said at the Chinese theater, they did their wow. first ever. 7 a.m. doubleheader matinee with with the two movies. A little bit of time you get out of sunset. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Barbenheimer. All right, All right. Forrest Benz. Thanks, awesome. Rich. Awesome. Thanks, we'll guys. We'll be right back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.